Hi guys, happy Thursday. Thank you so much for returning. If you're new, thank you for checking us out. Please like and subscribe if you like this video. Today I'm going to be cleaning out and organizing the inside of my refrigerator. It wasn't the dirtiest or messiest inside of a refrigerator, but it definitely needed to be organized and cleaned, wiped down, and there were some things that were expired, so it was time to clean it out. Let's do this. First things first, empty out that refrigerator, take everything out. You can take everything out shelf by shelf if you are worried about things getting spoiled or turning room temp, but I did this pretty quick, so I just took everything out at one time. Now is obviously going to be the time to throw away anything expired and old. In your refrigerator there was mold in those cherries. There was super expired from July juice. Redick, I know. There was old soup in a Tupperware container. It's just perfect opportunity to get all of that stuff out. Next step is to clean and wipe down the inside of the refrigerator. I'm using my Method All-Purpose Spray Cleaner in the scent uh, Honey Crisp Apple. I love the scent. It's so fresh and crisp, hence the title. <laughs> um, I use it year-round and it is completely friendly to use inside of your refrigerator. Here comes the fun part, time to organize. Get everything back in that refrigerator, make sure you wiped down any crusty gooey things in your containers and bottles. I am starting off by putting everything away in the drawers. And like a lot of projects you do around your house, this is definitely trial and error. What food is going to work where for you in your refrigerator and which shelf? I bought this turntable that I had originally bought for my spice cabinets, but I am deciding to give it a whirl in the refrigerator. It was $6 from Walmart. It is the brand Mainstays. When I originally bought it, I thought it was going to be skid proof, but it was like flopping all around and maneuvering all around in the refrigerator. Just a bit of advice if you are thinking about buying it. As you can see there, there is a few bottles of wine and there are a couple of beers that I'm putting back into my refrigerator. I don't drink, I've been sober for over three years, but there are friends and family members that do come and drink at our house from time to time and they do enjoy a nice glass of cold wine or a nice crisp cool beer. So we always have that stocked up 
from Layla's birthday party. That was in August. We had a lot left over. So it's just nice to have in the refrigerator for any guests who do want to have a cold one. Now it's time to move on to produce, eggs, and dairy. If you're wondering where I got my handy dandy plastic egg container, it's probably one of my coolest things that I feel like I have in my refrigerator. I love to look at it. It's so much more appealing aesthetics wise than the brown cardboard containers that you get at the store. I got it from either Ross or Marshalls for $5.99. Probably one of the best $5.99s that I've ever spent. I love it. I had just went grocery shopping. That is why I decided to make this video because it was perfect opportunity to do so. I'm putting apples, oranges, strawberries, cucumbers, yogurts, um, fruits and veggie pouches for the girls inside of the refrigerator. I feel like they keep longer and stay fresher inside of the refrigerator. We all have super sensitive teeth, including I'm noticing Layla also. Shukri, as well as myself, have sensitive teeth. So if I know I'm going to be giving the girls a snack or eating one myself, an apple or strawberries or any oranges, I will take them out of the refrigerator at least an hour before we consume them because of our tea sensitivity. If you notice, I'm putting all of the girls' snack pouches, little baby yogurts, and some fruits in the middle of the refrigerator. I'm putting them low enough for Shokri Marie to be able to reach because she is becoming super independent. She'll be three in just a few weeks. So that'll definitely give her a boost of confidence to be able to come into the refrigerator herself and grab herself a little snack. And look at that, this whole project took me 47 minutes. I timed it and we are all done. The refrigerator is wiped down, organized, fresh looking. We took out expired foods. Thank you so much you guys for coming along. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like it and subscribe if you already are not. We have a lot more videos coming your way. We have mommy vlogs, organizing videos. I have surprises coming your way and I've gotten quite a few requests to do beauty videos so stay tuned. Again, please subscribe if you loved this video. Bye guys!